new videos every day. Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hi, my name is Mira Hoffman, and in this video I'm going to be showing you my top favorite techniques for the back. So we have five techniques that I've selected out of the hundreds that I use every day to share with you insider secrets. So pay attention and go ahead and favorite this video so you can come back and follow along when you have a partner. So I always begin just by saying hello to the back and just giving a nice gentle resting stroke so you can palm alongside the spine, just walking down, saying hello. I'm using a light cream today, but anything will do. Um, if you have oil or lotion, those are fine as well. So I'm going to take a little bit of that massage cream and just gently apply it, saying hello. So this is a nice, slow, long Swedish stroke that I'm doing right now. And it's one of my favorites because it's great at putting on the lotion and oil and also beginning to warm up the back. So I move nice and slow. You can see I'm melting in a little bit into the hips here, working on either side of the spine, and then drawing up between the shoulder blades, over the tops of the shoulders, and working down the shoulders themselves, scooping up and around, and then coming back towards the head, drawing the fingertips all the way underneath the occipital ridge. So one more time. And you can do this several times if you want to, starting at the tops of the shoulders, just working down the muscles that run along either side of the spine, working nice and slow, good medium to firm pressure here. You can always check in with your receiver and see if this feels good to them. And you're really working all the way down to the hips. So the muscles in our back don't just stop. We connect all the way down to the muscles and bones and the hips. And kind of walk the hands back if you want to do something a little bit different on this return. I'm just making sure to be as thorough as possible, really touching each part of the back. And then just like before, kind of scooping up around the shoulders. And bringing the fingers all the way up to that occipital ridge before you let go. And I'm going to use that stroke one more time to go down the back. So this time, I am setting myself up to work on one side of Katrina's back. It's a nice slow long stroke here. And then I'm going to come alongside of Katrina down to the hips and I'm going to use my bottom hand to just go ahead and wrap gently around her hip bone. It's a little cushion. So with my bottom hand, I'm sort of applying some traction towards me. And with my top hand, I'm pressing away and down. So scooping up towards me as I finish and applying pressure right next to the spine, but not on it. Working the hands down towards the table. Do that all the way up the length of the spine. So, rocking towards me, placing my hand down, and moving off. As you get further up the back, you can move your bottom hand to the rib cage here as your point of um, rock. So, rocking towards me, and then working on those paraspinal muscles, the erectors. And do this again. So if you're working with a female client, you want to make sure that you're not grabbing too far up. So I really am just on that bottom part of the rib cage, not working too far towards 
into her shoulder or too close to the chest. And for this last one with a shoulder blade starts to come into play, you can work off the top of the shoulder so it doesn't have to be just this linear perpendicular movement. Now I'm going to continue this move all the way up into her shoulders. So you can use both hands now to kind of work off the top of the shoulders. And just like we were doing before, just a nice wrap all the way up into the suboccipital muscles. You can use your other hand to kind of traction away and down. It's a nice closing movement towards that. So we'll do the same thing for the other side. Again, using that first opening stroke, nice and long down the spine. And really taking your time, the slower you move, the more relaxing it is. And then I'm gonna step to this far side. And again, bottom hand goes here at the hip. Top hand is working on those erectors, the paraspinal muscles, and down to the table. So rock towards, make contact, slide down. Moving the hand just a little bit up to reposition. Still same movement, rocking towards me, working away, rock towards, work away. So I'm meeting the shoulder blade here, so we're not going to go all the way down. I'm going to make a little short stroke. And then coming up off the top of the shoulders, looping up, scooping up, scooping towards me, moving towards the top of the head. And then using that bottom hand, we can apply pressure away and down on that same shoulder. So the next one of my favorite moves, and we call it ironing down the erectors. So you want both hands at the top of the back, and you're going to make your hands into really loose fists. So I'm not clenching my hands, but they're just nice and loose, and this is the surface that you're gonna to use to work on. So putting your irons, so you have like two little irons, on top of the shoulders, you're just gonna to gently to begin to apply pressure, and making sure that you don't catch their hair, so my right hand, leaving it a little bit more open, to let the hair go through, and now we're clear. And you can see, it really is just like I have two irons working down either side of her spine, making sure that you're definitely not touching or hitting any bones. If anything feels rocky or really hard, just ask your partner, hey, how does that feel? Do I need to move? So I'm curious for those of you that have had massage or are doing massage currently, leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite move is. And it doesn't have to be just for the back. You can say, oh, my favorite part of the body to be worked on is my hands or feet. Let us know, that way we can make some more videos to help you all out. So I'm continuing that stroke all the way onto her tailbone. Slowly releasing, let the, letting the hips rock back. And just do a nice, long, slow return stroke. Let's do that one more time just so y'all can get a really good perspective and practice that again. So hands and loose fists coming to the tops of the shoulder. Just begin to apply contact and pressure. I'm stepping my legs out a little bit just because that's more comfortable. I can get a little bit better pressure and position. It's more ergonomical. How's this pressure feeling? 
We've lost Katrina. It's a good thing. So I'm applying about a medium to firm pressure, but always just check with your partner and ask them, hey, how's this feel? Do you want more or less pressure? And adjust, because ultimately you want to give them an awesome massage. That way when it's your turn to receive, you get an awesome massage too. Just going nice and slow. So the deeper that you're working, the slower you go. That's just how it works. It's gonna take longer to travel through the same space because you're doing more work. I'm slowly getting into more of the low back muscles as we come off the rib cage here. Working. You can see how I kind of start to shift my hands to a different direction as we get down towards the hips. And you really want to angle and target towards that sacrum tailbone. So coming into almost a V. And then you can just gently draw your hands up, letting the hips rock back and drag back out. So that was my third favorite move. My fourth one is on the levator scapula. So the levator scapula runs from the tip of the scapula all the way up into your cervical vertebra. And as it runs up here, what it does is it basically helps raise your shoulders. So a lot of you at work, your shoulders are up here. And as soon as I start to press, you're like, whoa, I have so much room. Well, you can come and bring your thumb, literally, and just place it on that muscle. And with your bottom hand, you're gonna grab to the outside of the shoulder blade and pull the shoulder blade towards your thumb. So instead of all the pressure coming from just that one hand or that one thumb, you're getting a double dose. You're getting the initial pressure just from placing the thumb and then that secondary pressure as you rock the shoulder up towards your hand. And this feels really good. And just make sure that if you have a ticklish client or partner, you check in with them before you do this. They may not be able to tolerate it. It may be too ticklish as you start to mobilize the shoulder blade. So again, switching hands. So my inside hand is applying the thumb pressure. Outside hand comes to the shoulder blade to rock it towards me. You can also push it down and away from you as you pick up your thumb, move on to a new place, and then rock it towards you. So this is a great levator scapula release. It's a really good if you have neck or shoulder pain. It's one of my favorite moves to have done to me and also to do for others because I carry a lot of tension in this area. I'm just trying to work the full breadth of that muscle. And then just kind of closing, doing that sweeping stroke up and down. And the last and final move that is my favorite move is working on the suboccipitals, the muscles that are right underneath this bone here in the back of your head called the occiput. So there's a couple things that you can do. You can do some gentle, slow circles, just warming up the muscles. But what feels really nice is just allowing your fingers to melt in underneath that bone. And just work real slow. I'm just beginning to bring my weight back. And you can pause and stay there. If it feels good and your partner wants it again, you can pick up your fingers and start a little bit lower. But you're pretty much working at the hairline or a little into it. 
Just feeling for that bone. Once you feel that bone, you'll feel these tiny little muscles right underneath it. And man, does it feel good to have them massaged. So now I'm just kind of walking out those muscles, tracing the edge of that occiput bone. You can trace back in. little circles and as you explore this area more and become more familiar with it you'll be able to feel things more acutely more perceptively I'm just gonna do some nice scalp massage circles And then I like to end as we began, so doing one final long sweeping stroke down the back. And cresting over the hips, we'll loop back. Coming to the upper back between the shoulder blades, off the top of the shoulders, and then scooping up and towards the head. So that was my top five favorite techniques for the back. I hope you enjoyed this video and will favorite it and come back and watch it again and again. Please leave us comments letting us know what your favorite area of the body is to be massaged or what techniques you would like to see for future videos. We always love hearing from you. It's so important that you connect with us and let us know what inspires you and interests you. Make sure to subscribe to the Psyche Truth YouTube channel, and I look forward to joining you in future videos. Again, my name is Mira Hoffman, and you can find out more about me at mirahoffman.com. Thank you.